We're going to get started here today. I ask that we continue to gaze downward or close our eyes, ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Our tummies are nice and tight. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing how the down gaze and the breath helps relax and soothe the mind and body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum as we continue to gaze down. As we take this moment to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. Natural breaths. Our mind is relaxed. Our body is feeling centered. As we continue to gaze down, we are becoming more settled in our present moment. Taking notice of how we feel within our mind, within our bodies, without judgment. Simply being aware. Breathe in deeply. Hold a breath. Exhale fully. Noticing how that exhale relaxes, soothes. As we breathe our palms above our head in our seated suit, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens. Spinal cord is nice and long, feeling that nice stretch here. Reaching upwards, feeling that stretch. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist, using the twist to relax and soothe the spinal cord. We're gonna hold this pose three more breaths. Exhale, back to center, coming into a seated star, palms are off to the sides, feeling that stretch, breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist, opposite side. Bodies relaxed, hanging out here. Three more breaths. Exhale, back to center. We are now seated star, feeling that stretch. Coming up to our seated salute, palms up in the air, reaching the ceiling, feeling that stretch. Body gets nice and long, feeling that spinal cord lift in here. Tummy's nice and tight. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated prayer. Relaxing our palms and heart center. Checking in with our bodies as we allow our right hand to relax onto the earth. Taking our left hand, reaching it over to the side, up. Over, up over our head. We're going to feel that side bend, right side. Tummy's nice and tight. Holding this pose, three breaths. Exhale back to center. Left hand is flat on the earth. Both hands are on the earth. Holding this pose, one breath. Noticing how we feel as we feel the energies and the vibrations of our environment. Noticing what's going on as we breathe that right hand up to the side, over our head. Feeling that side bend, the left side. Tummy's nice and tight. Hanging out here, three more breaths. Exhale, 
Exhale back to center. Both palms are on the earth, noticing how we feel. As we breathe our palms back up into our seated salute. Interlacing our fingers above our heads. Chest comes forward, arms fall towards the back. We are in a slight back bend here. Maybe lifting our chin upwards towards the heavens. Tummy's nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Breathing down a seated prayer. As we straighten our legs in front of us, we are in our staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Noticing how this feels. As we breathe, our palms above our head in our salute. Exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips coming into a staff pose. Gazing down. Reaching down towards our ankles or our feet. Noticing how this feels in our body. Holding this pose. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back into our staff as we flow into our diamond or our butterfly. Our feet are bound together in front of us, coming into our diamond or our butterfly, noticing how to feel. We're going to do a couple of hip openers here, slightly leaning or hinging at our hips, allowing our torso to fall slightly forward, ensuring that we are not overstretching our inner thighs. Natural breaths. Maybe gazing down, going down towards the earth as much as you comfortably can, noticing how this is a nice deep stretch within the inner thighs. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back to our, or our diamond, using our hands to bring our legs inward, coming back into that staff pose, taking our right leg, placing that right foot flat on the earth, knee is up in the air. We're going to cross this right leg over that left leg. We're going to take the left arm, lift it up in the air, body leans towards the right. Right hand goes off towards the back, left arm over that right leg, yes. Feeling this stretch here, we are in our stage, Marici. I'm sorry, Lord of the Fish Pose. Gazing over that shoulder, we are working on our spinal twist. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming back into that staff. Breathing our palms above our head. Exhale the prayer. Hanging at our hips, coming into a seated forward fold. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming back into that staff. As we lift our left foot up in the air, knees in the air, crossing that left foot over that right foot. Taking the left hand, placing it behind our backs. Crossing that right arm over that left knee. Feeling that spinal twist as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Noticing how this pose relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. You may even feel a spinal crack. We're gonna hang out here three more breaths. Exhale back to center, relax in the body as we cross our feet, coming into a coming to an easy seat. Noticing how we feel. Taking this moment to check in with our bodies. Gazing down. Noticing how we feel without judgment. We are simply aware. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we flow to our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose, ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, tummy comes downward towards the earth, back is slightly sunken, chin is slightly up in the air, noticing how this feels. 
As we breathe to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up in the air, tummy's nice and tight. We're gonna do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center. We're gonna come into a sunbird pose starting on the right side. We're gonna bring our right leg off towards the back. Noticing how this feels. Tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna slightly gaze forward. If we have our balance, taking that left hand and bringing it forward, we are in our full sunbird pose. This is a balancing pose. Tummies nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here for natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, holding it in. Back to bird. We are building strength here in our core and our arms. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. One more time, knee to elbow, holding it in. Three breaths, building strength. Exhale back to bird. Coming back to our table. As we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Coming back to our neutral. We're gonna do sunburn opposite side. Left leg goes straight to the back. Catching our balance. Tummies are nice and tight. As we bring that right arm forward, we are now in our full sunbird. Strengthening our bodies here. We're gonna hang out here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. We are building strength. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it in, three breaths. Body's getting nice and warm here. Back to bird. Exhale back down to our table as we drop to our cow. Relaxing the body, exhale into our cat. Flow into our table as we work on a thread the needle right side, bringing that right arm out towards the side. We're gonna thread our right arm through our left, bringing our chest chakra downward towards the earth. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, allowing our torso to melt forward into the yoga mat. Shoulders are melted forward. Bodies relaxed. Mind is relaxed. We can go deeper by wrapping that left arm over that back, noticing how that feels. <sighs> noticing how this feels with our heart chakra towards the earth. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths, bodies relaxed. As we slowly unwrap that arm, unthreading that needle, we are back in our table, dropping down to our cow, exhaling to our cat. As we come back to our table, we're gonna thread that needle opposite side, left arm goes out to the side, and we're gonna thread that left arm through our right as our heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Shoulders melt forward into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down as we are getting lost in our present moment. Maybe we can go deeper in this pose by wrapping our right arm around our backs if that feels comfortable for us. 
hanging out here in this pose. Four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, coming back down to our table, dropping down to our cow. Notice how this feels as we flow to our cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our first down dog. We're gazing back at our feet, tummy so are nice and tight. Maybe pushing our torso towards our legs, noticing how that feels, nice deep stretch. Hanging out here in our down dog. Three more breaths, building strength in our arms. As we flow forward to a high, I'm sorry, flow forward to an up dog. Breathe up dog, holding his pose, one breath. Exhale back down dog. We are working our arms, building arm strength here. Flowing back to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Our bodies are nice and warm as we come into our high plank. If the high plank is too tough, we can come on down to a low plank, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. As we flow to our low plank or our chaturanga, whatever you feel, hanging out here. Exhale to Cobra. Bodies are nice and warm, ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. Two breaths. Exhale, up dog. Breathe down dog. Gazing back, maybe we can pedal our feet, walking our dog, ensuring our tummy, our core is nice and tight. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our dolphin. That's coming on to our forearms. We are in our dolphin pose, giving our arms a little break. We are in our forearms. Yes. <sighs> Maybe we can, if we choose, walk our feet closer towards our torso, towards our body. Noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. If we're able, this pose prepares the mind and the body for headstand. So we're gonna hang out here for Four natural breaths. Two more breaths, building strength in our forearms. As we exhale to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose, eyes are gazed down or closed. Relax in the body here, not child's pose or puppy pose. Using this moment to relax and soothe. Natural breaths. Maybe we can sway our body side to side in our child's or puppy. Simply noticing how that loosens and relaxes our hips, if we choose. Checking in, seeing how we feel. Two more breaths. Maybe we can come into an extended child's pose and puppy pose if we're not already. That is bringing our hands in front of us. We are in our extended pose. <sighs> Staying in our child's pose or puppy pose, walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch, simply walking the fingers, noticing how that stretches the body, relaxes the body even more. Two more breaths. Hmm. 
as we slightly gauge forward and do a couple of spinal waves, we are working on loosening up our spinal cord, lengthening our spinal cord, keeping our back and our core nice and strong. Our tummies are nice and tight, and we can go as fast or as slow as we choose in our spinal wave. Relax in the body, becoming nice and loose. We can even do spinal circles by rotating our, our hips if that feels good. Whatever you choose, we are loosening up our minds. We are loosening up our bodies. We are getting lost in this moment here. Yes, playing around. We're going to hang out here four more breaths, simply playing around, noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. As we find pause coming back to our table, we're gonna push our bodies back up to that down dog. Gazing back at our feet. As we flow to a three-legged dog right side, bringing that right leg up in the air nice and high. We're gonna do a couple of leg pauses here. three leg dog pauses. Simply pulsing the leg up and down, if we're able. Noticing how that works, the gluteus maximus. Finding pause, if we're doing pause, we're gonna find pause. Leg is up in the air, we are in our three-legged dog. Ensuring that our hands are flat on the earth, nice and strong. We're gonna come down to a chaturanga, but we're gonna keep that right leg up in the air, if we can. Keeping that leg up in the air, we're gonna slowly come on down. Yes, yeah, see that there? Building strength, relaxing that leg. <laughs> I see you, Maria. Okay, relaxing down, coming into our Sphinx pose here. Yes, giving our arms a little rest. We are in our Sphinx pose here now, yes. Ensuring that our shoulders are away from our ears. We're gonna hang out here in Sphinx pose just for a second. This is a slight back bend. Chin slightly up, nice deep breaths using a breath to regulate and soothe our body temperature and our heart. Two more breaths. As we come on up to our cobra or our baby cobra, using our hands, pushing our torso slightly up. Cobra or baby cobra. As we flow to our up dog, thighs are off the earth, we are in our up dog. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Tummy's nice and tight, and we're gonna try that falling three-legged dog one more time. Left leg's in the air this time. Left leg's in the air, nice and high. Ensuring our, our hands, our palms are nice and secure on the earth. Keeping that left leg up in the air. We're gonna come on down to a chaturanga with that left leg in the air if we're able. Coming on down, building strength. Legs in the air. <sighs> Exhaling down. Relax and coming into that Spanx pose. Relax in the arms. Yes, you may feel it all up in your arms, your body. What we are doing here today is we are building strength and taking our minds and our bodies to new levels. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Breathe in deeply, holding a breath. Exhale. Noticing how that deep breath and that exhale relaxes and soothes, regulates that heartbeat. Two more breaths. Exhale down, coming back to our cobra or baby cobra, slightly pushing our bodies off the earth. As we flow to our up dog, chin slightly up, holding this pose, two breaths, building strength here. Exhale back down dog, gazing back at our feet. We're gonna come on back into that three-legged dog, right legs in the air. We're gonna give this another, another go. We're gonna come on back down into our chaturanga with that right leg in the air. Yes, holding on, hanging out here. Couple breaths, couple breaths, building strength. Exhale that leg down, relaxing the body, coming into that Sphinx pose. Relax in the body. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ear. Always having control of our bodies, never sunken. Having that control. Breathing in. 
Exhale in. Nice, deep, intentional breaths. Using the breath to regulate that heartbeat. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Body's nice and warm. Our heart rate is going up. Working our bodies. As we bring our palms back towards our chest, coming back into that cobra or baby cobra, pushing our torsos off the earth. As we exhale to that up dog, breathing back to that down dog, ensuring our palms are flat on the earth as we come into that three-legged dog, left side. Making sure our palms are nice and strong on the earth as we come on down to that one leg at Chaturanga, one leg's in the air, coming down, Chaturanga, holding it, hovering over that mat, building strength. Two more breaths. Exhale down to our Sphinx pose. Relaxing the body, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Body is nice and warm now. Maybe we can bring our hands in front of us, coming into that sleep position and relaxing our forehead or our cheeks onto our hands. Natural breaths. Mm. Using this rest pose to check in with our minds and our bodies. Noticing how we feel without judgment. We are simply aware. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly lift our head out of that sleep pose, and we're gonna come into a superman or a supergirl <sighs> by bringing our arms straight out in front of us and our legs are slightly off the earth like we are flying. We are in our superman or our supergirl hanging out here. This is a slight back bend. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. <sighs> Two more breaths. Superman, supergirl, building its strength here as we swim our hands behind our backs, coming into that locust pose. Yes, our legs are still off the earth. Our arms are towards the back. Palms are up towards the ceiling. Noticing how this goes deeper in that back bend. I'm gonna hang out here, three more breaths. We're gonna come on into a deeper back bend, coming into that bow pose. Connecting our right hand towards our Right foot and our left hand towards our left foot, noticing how this lifts our torso up off the earth even more. This is a nice, strong, deep back bend. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. Relaxing the body down. Swimming our hands back to the front of the yoga mat, coming back into that sleep position, resting down on our palms of our hands. Natural breaths. Our shoulder blades falls forward into the yoga mat, completely relaxing our bodies there. Three more breaths. As we slowly come out of that sleep and pose, coming back into our Spanx pose, relaxing here on our forearms, shoulders are away from our ears. Natural breaths. We're gonna hang out here for two more breaths. Hmm. 
coming up to our cobra, to our up dog, as we flow to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Coming into that three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air, nice and high. As we breathe that right foot to that right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. <sighs> Hanging out here in this runner's lunge as we flow up for warrior one or high lunge. Yes. We are now working our quads, working our legs. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Exhale, warrior two. Building strength. Breathe back to warrior one or high lunge. Exhale back, warrior two. To warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Breathing to reverse warrior. Hanging out here, feeling this stretch, two breaths. Exhale, extend the side angle. Arms up in the air or just side angle, whatever you choose. Two more breaths. Exhale forward, coming into that runner's lunge. As we flow into that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, allowing our torso to relax over the body. Natural breaths. <sighs> Relaxing the body. Two more breaths. As we come into a, let's try something else. Let's stay in this pose here. We're gonna walk our right foot to the edge of the yoga mat. We're gonna bring that right arm inside of that foot. We are coming into our lizard pose. We're gonna continue to work on opening up our hips. We can come down, we can drop that knee if we choose. We can come on down to our forearms. We are in our lizard pose, hanging out here. This lizard pose prepares our mind and our body for split. <sighs> Tummies are nice and tight. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly come out of that lizard pose, pushing our body slightly up. Hanging out here just for a second. Our right hand and our right foot are side by side. We're gonna slightly twist that back foot and we're gonna extend that left arm up in the air. Gazing up at that arm, we're gazing forward. Yes, we are in our low twist, our low lunge twist. Hanging out here, noticing how we are still opening up our hips. Two more breaths. Exhale back to forward. We are back into our runner's lunge. Coming into our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet as we are pedaling our feet, walking our dog. We're gonna keep on flowing here. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left legs in the air, nice and high. Coming into, bringing that left foot to that left hand. We are in our runner's lunge. <sighs> Catching our balance, ensuring how we feel as we flow up to our warrior one or high lunge. <sighs> we are working our quads, building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. <sighs> Exhale to warrior two. Breathing back to warrior one. <sighs> Exhale, warrior two. Building strength. Coming back to warrior one. Hanging out here. Two more breaths. 
exhale warrior two as we float to reverse warrior feeling that stretch Breathing forward to extended side angle or side angle, arms up in the air or wrapped around our backs, whatever we choose. <sighs> Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhaling forward, coming into that runner's lunge. <sighs> and we're gonna work on lizard on the opposite side. We're gonna walk our left foot to the edge of the yoga mat and we're gonna bring that left arm inside of that leg. Yes, we are working on our um, lizard pose. We can drop that back knee if we choose. We can keep it up as we come on down to our forearms if that feels good for you. We are working on our lizard here. Once again, this lizard prepares the mind and body for split. Couple more breaths. <sighs> now, I don't have any blocks here today, but if, if you guys have a block you can actually put a block in front of you in that in that lizard yes the blocks will actually help with the lizard or we could just do the lizard like this if that yes perfect thank you yes there with the block yes you can put the block in front of you as well that helps being on your forearms with the block we're gonna hang out here for a couple more breaths <sighs> two more breaths here relax in the mind and body Dropping that back knee, pushing our bodies up out of that lizard. Oh, relaxing the body for a second. We're gonna twist that right leg behind us and we're gonna twist that right arm up in the air. We are in our low lunge twist here. Arm is up in the air. Gazing up at that arm or gazing forward or down, whatever you feel. Three more breaths, building strength. Oh. We are opening up our hips here. A couple more breaths if we're able. <laughs> Coming forward, we are back into our runner's lunge. Straighten out that front leg, we are back into our pyramid. Relaxing our body over our pyramid. Exhale, down dog. Building strength. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog. as we come into a complete forward fold. <sighs> Hovering our torso over our legs here in our forward fold. Eyes are closed or gaze down. We're gonna use this forward fold to relax and soothe the mind and body. <sighs> Excellent to have forward fold, slightly lifting up, slightly gazing forward. <sighs> Back down to complete forward fold. <sighs> Maybe we can come into a rag dial if that feels good for you, connecting the hands to the elbows. And if you're in your rag dial, maybe you can rock and sway your body from side to side if that feels good for you. Simply noticing how this feels. We are using this pose to relax and soothe. We're gonna hang out here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, come into our half forward fold. As we breathe to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. As we bring our palms above our head in our standing salute or our extended mountain, Palms are in the air or palms are connected. Noticing how this feels, <sighs> relaxing the body. As we bend our bodies towards the side, we are in our standing crescent mode, feeling the side bend. Tummy's nice and tight. Exhale back to center. 
Crescent moon, opposite side. Exhale, back to center. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our standing prayer. Checking in with our bodies as we hinge at our hips coming into that forward fold. Notice how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings as we bend our knees coming into that chair pose. We are in our chair pose. We are further working our quads, working our lower parts of our bodies. We can be in our prayer hands or we can extend our arms up in front of us. Whatever feels good for you here in our chair pose, we can hang out here for more breaths, building strength. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms at heart center, two more breaths. Working out quads here as we chair pose, twist right side. Noticing how this feels. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose, twist opposite side. Legs are getting nice and strong here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Two breaths. <sighs> Exhale, complete forward fold. This forward fold is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. Allowing the torso to completely relax over the legs. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes. Bodies relax, minds relax. Exhale, half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, coming back to that Tadasana. Palms are at our side, we are in our mountain pose. As we breathe our palms back up into our standing salute or our extended mountain, natural breaths. Interlacing our hands as we come into that slight back bend. Chest comes forward, arms go towards the back, filling that back bend. Exhale back to center. We are in our standing salute or extended mountain. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, standing prayer. As we work on a kickstand, left side, left foot comes out to the side. We're going to work on a tree pose. Catching our balance here. We are balancing our minds and we're balancing our bodies here. We can go deeper into our tree pose. Whatever tree pose feels good for you. We can have our low leg, mid leg, or high leg. Whatever you choose here, we can keep our palms at heart center. We can come into goddess cactus arms. We can bring our palms above our heads. Whatever you choose, we're gonna hang out here in this tree pose, balancing our minds, balancing our bodies, and relaxing. Six natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we relax our bodies out of that tree pose, we are back in our Tadasana, breathing our palms back up and above our heads in our salute. Exhale to prayer. As we do that kickstand opposite side, we're gonna work on the tree pose. On the other side, we can be in our kickstand, we can be at our mid leg, or we can be high leg, whatever feels good for you. Once again, balancing our minds and our bodies here. Placing our arms in any position that feels good for us. Six more breaths. Three more breaths. We relax back down to our Tadasana. Checking in, noticing how we feel in our bodies as we bring our palms back at heart center. Hinging at our hips, we are in that half forward fold. As we bend our knees, coming back into that chair pose, we're gonna work our legs a little bit more. 
hanging out here in our chair post prayer hands or our extended chair, whatever you choose. You're gonna hang out here, five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale, forward fold, relax in the body. <sighs> nice deep breath. Exhale. Noticing how that felt in the body. Maybe we can flow into a rag dial, going deeper into that pose. Maybe we can sway our bodies, rocking our bodies from side to side, if that feels good. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we come back to that complete forward fold, we're gonna walk our hands forward, bringing our legs back. We are into our high plank. <sighs> Hanging out here in this high plank, four breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. <sighs> As we float to the side plank, we can be high or low, arms in the air. <sighs> We are working our obliques here in this plank. We can also lower that knee if that feels good for us. <sighs> Exhale and back to center, high plank. As we switch to side plank, opposite side, we can be high or low. <sighs> working our obliques on the opposite side. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale back to center, coming into our high plank. As we flow down to a low plank or chaturanga, hovering over our mat for a couple breaths, building strength. Exhale to cobra or baby cobra. <sighs> Relax in the body. Exhale up dog. Breathe back down dog. Exhale back to high plank. Coming down to low plank with Chaturanga. Exhale to Cobra or Baby Cobra. Exhale, up dog. As we flow to a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Nice deep breath. Exhale. As our bodies go down, our chest is connecting to the earth. Our eyes are relaxed or gaze down. Our shoulders fall forward into the yoga mat. Using this pose to relax and soothe. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we are in our extended child's pose or puppy pose, may we walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch even more. Eyes are still gazed down or closed. Two more breaths. As we spinal wave our bodies, we're gonna do a couple of spinal waves. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Four more breaths.
relax in the body. As we find our pose at table, we're gonna cross our feet behind us, coming into a seated pose. And we're gonna come into a cow face. Bringing our feet towards our buttocks, we are in our cow face. Using our hands to connect to our feet as we apply pressure to our feet, slightly massaging our feet. Noticing how this feels. For our feet carries us and takes us everywhere we need to go. So may we use this moment to apply pressure to our toes, to the ball of our foot, or whatever you feel you may need to show some love. Shoulders are relaxed down as we are massaging, showing love to our feet. Tummies are tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. And our eyes are gazed down and closed. As we are lost in this moment of self-care. Three more breaths. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully, breathing our palms above our head in our salute, exhale to prayer, If we want to go deeper in our cow face, we can by connecting, interlacing our hands behind our backs. If we're able, interlacing those fingers, if we choose, or we can stay in our prayer hands. Using this moment to relax and go inward as we are checking in with our bodies. Seeing how we feel without judging, simply being aware. Three more breaths. Breathe in deeply. As we exhale, coming onto our backs, coming into our Shavasana, just for a second. Bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we are coming into a reclined spinal twist. Our right arm goes off to the side as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder or gaze up towards the heavens. Our shoulder blades are relaxed backwards into the yoga mat. Our eyes are closed or gaze down. as we go inward. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. And I want our knees to fall towards the right, spinal twist opposite side. We're gonna allow our left arm to come out to the side. 
as we gaze over that left shoulder or up in the heavens. Shoulders are relaxed backwards into the yoga mat. Our body's completely relaxed here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, bringing our knees in towards our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. As we allow our legs to go up in the air, we are in our legs on the wall pose. As we reach down to the lower parts of our legs, and we're gonna bring our legs towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Bringing our legs back up to the legs on the wall pose. As we allow our knees to drop inward towards our chest, coming into that happy baby, bringing our hands inside of our legs, connecting our hands to our feet. Our backs are melted into the yoga mat. Our bodies completely relaxed. We are in our happy baby. Simply relaxed. We can rock our body from side to side, if that feels good. We can play with our feet, lifting our legs up and down, if that feels good. We can even go into a shoulder press by placing our legs over our shoulders, if that feels good. Whatever you choose, we're gonna have fun and relax in our happy baby. Freestyling doing whatever we feel fits. Five natural breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Noticing how we feel in this very moment. As we come out of that happy baby, lifting our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Exhaling our feet down, feet are flat on the earth. Knees are up in the air. We're gonna come into a bridge pose here, using our feet to lift our buttocks off the earth, using our hands to lift our buttocks off the earth. We are in our bridge. And if we wanna go deeper, we can walk our hands underneath our bottom and we can walk our elbows towards our spinal cord. Noticing how our hips comes higher in the air. We are working on our gluteus maximus here. And we can even do a couple of Bridge pulse, pulses, if that feels good for you. Lifting our gluteus maximus up and down, noticing how that tightens our buttocks here. We are working on our buns of steel. We're gonna do a couple more bridge pulses. And we can do the pulses or we can simply stay still. Whatever you choose. Five more breaths. Fill in the burn. And we can actually go deeper in our bridge if we choose coming into a three-legged bridge. Starting on the right side, if you choose lifting that right foot up in the air, relaxing that right foot on that left thigh, if you choose. We can even play around with this three-legged and straighten that leg up in the air. Whatever we choose, noticing how this works our gluteus maximus even more. Three more breaths. <sighs> and 
Exhale in that leg, coming into a three-legged bridge, opposite side, lifting that left foot up, relaxing that left foot on that right leg. Oh, we are really working our buns of steel here. And again, we can lift that leg up in the air if we choose, yes. Noticing how this feels. We are rounding our buttocks. We are lifting our buttocks. Four more breaths. As we exhale down, we're gonna do a couple more bridge pulses here. Simply, this is this is bonus points right here. We are we are we are lifting our buttocks. We are working our buttocks. We are feeling the burn. A couple more breaths. Yes, relaxing this body. We are building our body. We are building strength. We're gonna hold this pulse up in the air, holding it up. Feeling that crunch, holding it up. Four more breaths, feeling that burn. Two more breaths. Uninterlacing our fingers, relaxing the body. Bringing our knees into our chest, hugging the men. Noticing how this relaxes our gluteus, our gluteus maximus here, hugging the men, relaxing the body. Yes. Maybe coming back into that happy baby one more time. Noticing how this relaxes. Ah, bringing those legs in the air. Yes. Relaxing the body. Just for a second. Ah. Two more breaths. Ah. Bringing our legs up in the air. Legs on the wall poles. Ah. Coming back. Bringing our knees into our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles as we come up into a boat pose. <sighs> we are now working our abdominal muscles. We are in our boat pose. We just worked our gluteus. Now we're gonna work our abs in our boat pose. We can be legs. This way we can straighten out those legs. We can keep our legs crossed. Whatever you feel, we are simply keeping our balance here and we are working our abdominal muscles. Building strength in our core. <sighs> Hanging out here. Seven breaths. Doing any boat pose that feels good for you. Switching them up, yes. We can, we can play with our feet. We can, we can even cross our feet this way. Noticing how that works our abdominal muscles, yes. Playing around. Working on flattening our tummy or even just tightening up our abdominal area. That way it's not as jiggly. A couple more breaths, hanging out in the boat pose, whatever you choose. And we're not gonna stop here. We're gonna keep our legs straight. We're gonna do a couple of taps. We're gonna tap left to right. We are now working our obliques, noticing how this feels. We are feeling that burn in our abdominal muscle. We are filling our obliques, get nice and tight, filling the taps. We're gonna hang out here, six more breaths. <sighs> Building strength, we almost done. <sighs> <sighs> Three more breaths. As we find our pause, reaching our hands down towards our feet, Connecting our feet into our hand. Notice how this relaxed ensues. We're going to go into a boat pose variation. Starting on the right side, straightening out that right leg slightly towards the side like a big. Yes, holding that. Notice how we feel this in our hamstring. If this feels good, maybe we can straighten out that left leg. Coming in that, pool, that full boat pose variation. They also call this bear pose. Yes, and you can bring, I see, yes, playing around with it. Yes, you can play around with it. Bring your legs in, making your leg nice and wide, like a wide leg of V, whatever you choose. This is a balancing pose here. We are balancing our bodies. We are also working our abdominal muscles. We're gonna hang out here. Six more breaths. <sighs> Notice how this feels in our hamstrings. <sighs> Three more breaths. Our bodies are nice and warm. <sighs> Exhale. 
Exhale and our feet together, we're coming into a bow position. We are back in our butterfly or our diamond pose. Noticing how this feels as we slightly hinge at our hips, allowing our torso to come downward towards our feet. Body's relaxed. Mind is relaxed. We're gonna hang out here. Three more breaths. As we slightly push our bodies back up, bringing our hands to the edges of our knees, bringing our knees together, we're gonna fall back onto our backs, coming into a knees to chest position. We're gonna hug them in just for a second. And we're gonna straighten our legs out. <sighs> we're gonna breathe our arms above our heads. We are in our full body stretch. <sighs> Noticing how this feels. <sighs> Relaxing our bodies. Bringing our legs up in the air, allowing our feet to connect together and allowing our feet to come down towards our buttocks. We are in a we are in a reverse frog. So our feet are bounded together. Our feet are near our buttocks. We are in our reverse frog. <sighs> this pose is a slight hip opener. We are actually opening up our inner thighs. If anyone has an issue or it feels like it's too deep, we can always just place our fists beneath our buttocks and that will take away some of the pressure. We also can use yoga blocks on each side. We're gonna hang out here for three. Let's make it five natural breaths. We are opening up our hips. We are relaxing our minds and our bodies. We are feeling relaxed. We are feeling beautiful. We are feeling strong. We are feeling empowered. We are feeling whatever we are feeling in this moment. Without judgment. Two more breaths. As we take our hands, connect them to the outsides of our legs and bring our legs in, noticing how that feels. As we bring our legs back up towards our chest and we're gonna hug them in. We are hugging ourselves. We are showing ourselves self-love, gratitude. But self-care is a necessity. As we allow our legs to come down, we are in our complete Shavasana. Our legs are side by side, parallel with each other. Our feet are connecting, our heels are touching, the sides of our feet are touching. As we allow our feet to fall towards the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our eyes are closed. Our shoulders, our spinal cord is relaxed backwards into the mat. As we find ourselves centered, Next, self-soothe. Using the next 10 breaths to relax in silent meditation. Five more breaths.
Two more breaths. As we keep in our eyes closed, as we roll on to our side, coming into a fetal pose, Body is still relaxing. We're going to hang out here five more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, maybe we can rotate our ankles, maybe moving our hips in a couple of circles, using the movements to awaken our bodies. Using our hand to push our bodies off the earth, coming into a seated pose, maybe in an easy seat or a cow face. I'm gonna come into a cow face. Any seat that feels good for you. Gazing our eyes down. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Our face is relaxed. As we breathe our palms and heart center. As we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing we find time for self. For as we all know, it is impossible to pour from an empty cup. We must take care of ourselves if we want to take care of others. I am grateful that you allowed me to practice self-care with you here today. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.